you know, a lot of people, a lot of people have a lot of opinions about me, and a lot of people have a, a lot of opinions about what I did the last time at IWA Mid-South. You know, I came out to uh, not my music, I came out to a different guy's music. See, I may not be the best in the world, but I am the best in the world at what I do. And what I do is make an impression. Because see, you're never going to come watch me, you're never going to see me wrestle a match, you're never going to come to a show I'm on and not remember me. Because my goal, from the minute I walk out to the minute I go back through that curtain, is to make sure you do remember me. Not because I care about what you think, but because you need me. You need someone like me to make you angry, to make you feel something. You see, people, people these days are too worried, too worried about having emotions. We need a little bit more emotion and a little bit less political correctness. And you see, Chris Hero, that's what brings me to you. That's your problem. That's why you're not in Florida right now. That's why you're wrestling me on Sunday. Sunday, bloody Sunday, it's going to be knockout or tap out because you don't know how to play the game. You're too afraid of ruffling any feathers. You're too afraid of making friends with the right people. And you worry about the crowd. You worry about going out there and making sure they all think you're the best guy to ever walk the face of the earth. And see, I know you're not. You're nothing but a failure. You know who you failed? You failed me. You let me down, Chris Hero. I put all my chips on you. If it was the stock market, I'd be bankrupt right now. Because I was all in on Chris Hero. You went down there, and you were too afraid. You were too afraid to step out of your comfort zone. And now you're right back where you started. IWA Mid-South. So thank you. Thank you for the reality check, Chris. I appreciate that. I'll see you on Sunday, and I won't be the only one who's had a reality check.